here I am standing in our, um, I call it back block Shiraz. Uh, it's also known as the 1970s Shiraz. It's also known as Sparky Shiraz, which is the same year my youngest brother was born. So the PR people call it Sparky Shiraz. Us in the vineyard, we just call it the back block Shiraz. Same sort of soils as back there, hard clay loam. Uh, and we're doing the same everywhere trying to grow as much grass as we can underneath the vine for organic matter and hopefully it'll die off in the summertime to reduce reduce water consumption. Uh, this generally as a rule goes into our Bino Shiraz, this, uh, this block and some other little parcels from around the, some other little blocks but generally this is our um, Bino uh, block for all the material for that. Um, cell door is about six to eight hundred metres uh, due north also to the west, we have the Conconjella Creek. So it's quite flat. It's a bit of a funny block. We've got some spots that grow really strongly and other spots are a bit weaker. And that's generally because a thousand or 10,000 years ago, the creek used to actually come through each corner of the vineyard. So we've got a stronger section on the end where there's the soil is a bit lighter and a bit more fertile. And in the middle, it's a bit uh, hungrier and harder. One of the main issues is frost. Uh, we're so flat, so generally as a rule, if you get a lot nice wet year, you won't get any frosts because there's lots of humidity about. In a dry year, there's less humidity, so there's less humidity. So at night time, the, the temperature can be released a lot more from the ground surface. So if you've got high humidity, it can hold the heat closer to the ground. When you've got no humidity, it goes up. And that's generally when you, when you get your bad, your more severe frosts in drought conditions and really dry conditions.